Hello everybody, it's Todd Tannehill with Seco Drilling Products here to give you a quick tour around the geothermal calculator online at Seco's website. So let me share my screen here with you and we'll go right into the website and I'll show you where you can find this uh, great tool along with some other great tools that we have. Um, first of all, when you type in Setco, C-E-T-C-O.com, it's gonna bring you to our main landing page here, which is our minerals technology Setco landing page. And then you're going to come down here on the right hand side in this box and find drilling products and click on that plus sign. In here you'll find all kinds of things about our products, our applications, downloads of safety uh, data sheets, technical data sheets. Uh, you'll also find uh, tools and training and our industry associations that we're part of. We're going to go into tools and training so we're going to click that plus sign to the right of that. And you'll see that when we did that, it opened up a whole bunch of calculators and training videos here. Along with our geothermal calculator, we also have our HDD, horizontal directional drilling calculator, and a whole slew of vertical drilling calculators that can be used from everything from abandoning to grouting to drilling a vertical hole to figure out how much fluid or how much grouts or sealants you're gonna need. So we're gonna go into geothermal calculator here. And when this comes up, we will give you a quick walkthrough here. So the first thing you're gonna notice on our geothermal calculator is uh, it has units of measurement over here. It always defaults to standard. If you did need metric, you would just click here on the metric and it would, it would do all your calculations in metric values. But for our uh, class um, um, sample here, we're gonna use standard. And then it goes down to thermal conductivity enhancer you'll notice that we have a drop-down menu that gives you three choices. You're gonna select sand only, Setco TC Booster, which is our graphite product, and sand and Setco TC Booster. So when would you use these? Well, sand only was used prior to graphite being on the market and we were able to suspend 400 pounds uh, in our grout that could be used to get your thermal conductivity values up to a one point. However, um, we could actually suspend more than that and get them higher with sand. Unfortunately, drillers couldn't pump them in the field. We were already using a double action piston pump to pump those 400 pound batches. Um, so uh, when graphite came out, it was a real game changer. And we're going to use the Seco TC booster here. Um, sand and graphite combo would be used when you want to not only increase your TC levels, but you also want to increase the yield of each batch you could do a combination of sand and Setco TC Booster. Again, for our class example, we're gonna to go to our graphite product alone, Setco TC Booster. And uh, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna select our thermal conductivity. Now, if we were using sand, it would be a 0 0.40 up to a 1.2. However, because we're using the graphite, it's going to allow us to go from a one all the way up to a 1.9. And while these are becoming more and more common in many commercial jobs that we see, we still see a lot of ones and one twos coming through. I'm gonna choose one two for our class example here because that's a one for one bag. We use a 50 pound bag of geothermal grout and a 24 pound bag of um, TC booster. And then we use 15 gallons of water and that's what makes up a batch. So that's the easiest way to show you on here. Um, I'm going to use a project name here of Class Sample. My company is Acme Drilling. My project location is down in the Bronx. It's prepared by me and my phone number here so that they can contact me if I submit this to somebody. Okay, and then we're going to come down to the number of boreholes here. And notice I'm going to put 10, and they're going to be 800 feet deep with a six inch diameter. And then we're going to select our loop size. It allows us to go from three quarter inch all the way up to the twister. However, we're finding the one and a quarter and one and a half are very common today. I'm gonna to pick the one and a quarter for this job. And then I'm gonna show you something else. There's 10 more holes they need to sink but they can't get them down 800 feet because of conditions and where they're being drilled in. They can only get them down 400 feet. So it's allowing me to set aside and put in a separate section, same loop size, the same diameter, but we're just not going as deep and it'll, 
put those right in the calculations of everything we need. And it'll allow you to keep doing this. In fact, right down here, if you need to add more rows, you could click here and keep adding rows if you had different segments or different phases of the job that you wanted to do. Then we're going to come down and hit calculate. And that's going to give us our calculations. Down here in summary, you'll see that because we use geothermal grout, I'm sorry, because we use uh, TC booster alone with no sand, um, it's going to select geothermal grout. And geothermal grout is our basic best uh, geothermal grout for suspending TC booster or a graphite product. It tells us here across the top line what our batch is. It's 50 pounds or one bag of geothermal grout, 24 pounds or one bag of Setco TC booster, and 15 gallons of water. It also tells us our yield from that batch is going to be 18.76 gallons per batch. It tells us across this line what our total pounds of grout is, total pounds of TC booster, and total gallons of water that we're going to need available to us out on the job site to mix this. Then we go to total bags and it gives us our total bags we need for the job. And here's something very good. It rounds up to the pallet quantities. So in this case here, it tells us that we're going to need 17 um, pallets of the geothermal grout, and we're going to need 10 pallets of the Setco TC booster. High TC, which is used with sand to suspend those large quantities of sand that we talked about earlier, that's going to be blank here because we're not using sand, and because we're above a one, uh, our Setco granular grout isn't going to uh, populate in this class example either. But had we had circumstances where these would work, they would have populated in here too. The next thing I'll show you is that there is a print button up here that you can go to and print a report uh, that you can either add to your bid or put in your records. You can print it or you can actually save it to a PDF if you have that particular program on your computer. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, I always just right click my mouse and go down to print here. And it pops up here and then I can, I can choose to either print it to my printer or send it to one of my PDF programs over here. All right, so that is the Setco Geothermal Calculator. And uh, I'm Todd Tannehill. If you need anything, contact us at setco.com and we'll be glad to help you out or call your technical sales manager. We're always glad to double check your numbers or do your numbers for you. But this is a tool that you can use after hours or if we're on a plane or you just can't get somebody. Enjoy it, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.